first felt called to ordination when I was 21, but um, procrastinated and didn't really do anything about it till my late 20s. And I just really feel that that, um, that Jesus is good news, good news for the poor, but good news for, for everybody. And uh, I've committed my life to follow him, to serve him, and I felt called to, to serve his church. And I'm really passionate about um, about showing people who Jesus is um, and what a difference he can make for your life. I've seen people have huge transformations by following Jesus and I want to show, um, show people uh, what a difference he can make. I've just, just um, done my deacon year and it's been amazing. A deacon is someone that is supposed to lead people in mission and um, it's what I love to do. Uh, I've spent a lot of the year learning to do some of the ropes of church ministry but also had some creative projects like um, the mission house. We've got uh, In our church we've got um, some young people that have come together to live together, to pray together, to worship um, and to, to, to embody mission in our community and that's been a lot of fun to, to work with them and to, um, and to empower and um, to raise up young people for mission. Yeah, I'm really excited about retreat. I don't particularly love going on retreat because I do like um, I like being busy and I like uh, living in our in our culture that's got lots lots going for it. So to go on retreat and to be uh, silent and to, to kind of put all that stuff down, I find it really hard. But really, really important to listen for God's still small voice on retreat. So I'm kind of looking forward to what God is going to say to me this week, and I, I'm expecting Him to say some stuff to me. So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm.